I wish I knew because the, you know, Prince became, you know, he also retired for long periods or, re, you know, went into a kind of self-imposed retirement, then emerged again in those last years. You know, he definitely became a kind of, you know, powerful patriarchal figure, um, you know, marriage, um, very much still playing, playing at being the sexiest man in the room. Um, so in that way, he became, I would say, more conventional and conservative. Um, hard to say what Michael would have done because he, he so rarely confessed openly, as you rightly said. You know, he was always making this very complex and self-consciously full of allusions and references and motifs, art, but always, you know, oh, I, I, just, I just love art, you know, or no, I, I had one, I had one facial, you know, I had one operation, you know, always playing naive, as you said. So would he have um, wanted to take certain kinds of performative risks that not only included doing maybe different kinds of music and adapting to the fact that as he got older, he couldn't do the same kind of dancing. No dancer can. He would have to adapt to that. Um, or would he want to keep um, working on, working in the, as an older performer in the ways he knew best? Um, you know, which would mean probably finding clever ways to collaborate with, you know, star performers now, but who were very, performers who were very mainstream, not necessarily <laughs> cutting edge. Um, hard to know because the, the, the end, the death, um, there's so much torment and grief and sadness there that um, you know, it, it, it's hard to imagine how, how well could he have been. Would he have wanted to ever, if he had gotten through those 50 concerts, would he have ever wanted to perform again? He said very firmly, this is it. You know, and it sounded as if he really kind of meant it. 